हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ संदीप अभंग लेक्चरर इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट सी एस एम एस एस कॉलेज ऑफ पॉलिटेक्निक औरंगाबाद टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन सो व्हाट इज स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन द स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन इज डिफाइंड एज द प्रोसेस ऑफ एस्टेब्लिशिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स सो एज टू मिनिमाइज द वराइटीज इन द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इट मीन दैट or it is a set of specification defined by a local national or international regulatory body or authority so that the standard parts are used for manufacturing or production purpose the characteristics include material material quality dimensions shapes tolerances surface finish method of use method of testing method of packing and storing these are the characteristics are included in the standardization so that we can achieve the quality of the product next what is the purpose of standardization the purpose of standardization is to establish the norms intended to achieve what we have to achieve we have to achieve uniformity in the product specified quality interchangeability safety etc in india bis bureau of indian standard is responsible for evolving all the types of technical standards these technical standards are helps to minimize the uh, complicated production or small production which are ready to use for the assembly purpose use of standards the use of standards the standards are used in a design are for the design purpose the standards are used first one is the standards for material their mechanical and chemical composition secondly the standards for the dimension for of common use machine element wherever the machine elements are common such as nut bolt screw threads welder joints etc etc for that machine elements the dimensions are uh, dimension standards are established by the standard organization third one is the standards for fits tolerances and surface finish of the machine element these standards are considered while we are designing any kind of component so that this material properties dimensions fit tolerance surface finish are to be consider when we are designing the any kind of machine part also the standards for engineering drawing of component are also entailed in the standardization process which will we will use in the industry or in design process next the categories of standard there are three categories of standard first one is the company standard national standard and third one is the international standard so let us see one by one uh, company standard these standards are defined or set by a company or a group of companies it means that the group of company will uh, set the standards which they want to use for their manufacturing purpose second national standard the national standards are defined and set by an apex body known as bureau of indian standard which will be responsible for india only it is mandatory for every organization to follow standards throughout the country and third one is the international standards in the international standards these are set by international apex body and followed by all over the world and prepared by and these are prepared by iso international standard organization and second one is the international bureau of weight and measures these are the uh, categorized standards are set by these three bodies which we are using in the 
manufacturing the component, designing the component, etc. etc. In engineering field, we are following these three standards. Next one is the advantages. The advantages or benefits of standardization is it helps in manufacturing the component quickly and economically. We are if we have a ready product in the market, just we have to go purchase and fix or uh, assemble the product so that it helps to minimize the work of design engineer and it is economically also possi uh, uh, possible so that we can minimize the uh, cost of manufacturing it is readily available in the market so that we can purchase and it can use for assembly second one is the save the effort of engineer to design and manufacture new machine already we have seen that whenever readily use a readily available product in the market such as nut and bolts screws washers etc etc so that we can purchase it from market and use for the manufacturing so that it saves the effort of design engineer third one is the mass production the mass production is also more important factor for the production process or the production of the uh, any kind of industry or mass production type of industry so that it is not possible to manufacture a small product in their own house industry so that they can easily purchase or easily available the resources or the small parts or small products for assembly purpose so that it can be usable interchangeability according to standard the inter interchangeability is also possible for the component effective utilization of available resources an uh, easy and quick replacement of component is also possible because due to the standards easy and quick replacement is also possible standardization ensures safety protection from hazards and accident etc so thank you very much for watching my video Please like, comment and share my channel.